Hey everybody, it's Natalia from Ma Nouveau Mode, and I'm here today with a really quick hair tutorial for you. Actually, I don't know if it's quick. We'll have to see about that. But um, it's been a while since I've done any YouTube tutorials. I guess life has gotten the best of me. I'm really sorry. So, anyways, what inspired this one was my husband a couple months ago got Netflix. I know I sound like I, I'm really behind in the times or whatever. But the thing is, we live in France and it wasn't available until literally a couple months ago. So the second it was, my husband hopped on that and got it. And at first I'm like, why did you buy that? I wonder if you use that because we have a different way to get the shows that we want. And um, anyway, long story short, I know exactly why he got it because now I'm obsessed and now I understand everybody's obsession with Netflix because oh my gosh, you can just sit there and watch and watch and watch and it's really not good. but. But good, but not good. Um, not good for any level of productivity, that's for sure. So, uh, what I started with was The Big Bang Theory because I just love that show, I think it's hilarious. And I watched from the beginning to all the episodes they have on there. And um, I was done with that, and my husband and I were sitting there one night and he's like, well, we're gonna, let's watch something next. And I said, okay, I kind of was interested in Nashville. And he was like, okay, I can watch that, let's watch that. Yeah. He's on episode. 22 or something ridiculous like that. We literally started like two days ago and I'm on episode 10. So, slight obsession. They just leave you hanging at the end of every episode. You have to watch the next one. It's, it's bad. But I find myself the entire time I'm watching looking at Raina James or Connie Britton's hair. It's fabulous. It's like smooth and voluminous and these beautiful curls. It's so fabulous. And I was like, you know what? I can do that. Look at that. I can have hair like regular jeans. So I thought, that's a perfect hair tutorial. I'm gonna do it. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you how to get Raina James um, big waves. And I will show a picture of the ones I'm copying because she has quite a different, like, quite a different, quite a few, quite a few different looks that she does throughout the like really spirally curls or like long, loose, voluminous curls, but. The one I'm doing is um, like kind of tighter on the bottom and looser on top. So let's start with what you need to prep your hair. If you, this is especially, especially important if you have thin, fine hair. The, th the products that I recommend the absolute most are these two right here. Can you see them? Big Sexy Hair Root Pump. And actually, Aquash works just as well. This is a really good product as well. I use Big Sexy Hair. Spray it at the roots. It gives you nice, nice volume right in here. But you're going to do this when your hair is damp out of the shower and before you blow dry. <clears throat> and then you're going to put a, a pump or two of um, blow dry volumizing gel from Big Sexy Hair as well throughout your hair. This is magic, you guys. It volumizes your hair in ways that you have never seen. So thin haired girls definitely, definitely invest in products like this. These are great. Um, so what you're going to do is apply these uh, through your hair when it's damp or wet at the roots for the root pump and then the other stuff can go all throughout your hair. If you have thicker hair, then you can add a kind of like a gloss or a serum because thicker hair this will take and you'll, you'll still get the gloss without it weighing down your hair. If you have thin hair, this is just going to weigh your hair down, so skip the glossy step stick with only the volumizing stuff. If you have thicker hair like me, I tend to use this as well just throughout the ends. It just makes, it gives it a beautiful, beautiful shine. So, Oro Fluido is one of my favorites, and I'll link to that because this stuff is fabulous. Um, okay, so then you're gonna do that. Once you have that applied throughout your hair, what you're gonna do is flip your, I, I'm already there because I didn't wanna show you guys the whole beginning of it, but flip your head over and blow dry as much as you can away from the roots. Blow dry, blow dry, blow dry volume. So you're going to blow dry up, make sure you're going up and out for your roots so that you're lifting everything, like flip your head over and get in there and get the roots up. Because with the pump, with the root pump and with the gel, you're going to get a lot, a lot more success if you do that. So once you have the majority of your hair dried, just dry it all the way through. It doesn't matter if you do any kind of um, round brush or anything like that because we're going to do curls, so you're good. Once you're done with that, I am actually on <clears throat> day old hair because I intended to do this hair tutorial yesterday, 
and did not get around to it. So I'm gonna hit my hair up with some dry shampoo. This is a French dry shampoo because you know I live in France and it got great, great reviews on all kinds of French pharmacy products because the French pharmacy is like really awesome. So that's what I'm using. It's specifically for dark hair. I'm just gonna blast some in there. Give it a little, not only, it smells so good. Mostly right in my roots, around the front. My hands down, my favorite dry shampoo is, <clears throat> excuse me, it's Big Sexy Hair. I promise this is not like a, a sponsored post. They just make really good products, so I like them. Um, but uh, this one got good reviews too, so I wanted to try it. Pretty good. The thing about this one that what it does not, I think you can get this in America. Chlorine dry shampoo. I don't know. I'll look for it though. But um, is it? It's not like a thick, coarse feeling at your roots. It's just uh, it's more like a soft dry shampoo. So, voila. Now that you have that in your hair, you're gonna go ahead and take a heat protectant, and I use this Chi heat protectant. Iron Guard number 44 and the curling iron. This is important. You need a clipless curling iron because of the way that her curls are. I'm absolutely positive her stylist use a clipless. Um, <clears throat> but what I'm doing here is I have two. The reason I have two is because I believe that her curls underneath are a little bit tighter and the ones on top are a little flowier. So what I was going to do is I was going to start underneath with this one. I think it might be a little too tight, but I might do a few curls with it um, because it's tapered so it goes a little bit tighter. Then I was going to do the rest with this one. This is about a one inch barrel curling iron. And then I'm going to switch that one out for this one. This one is more like an inch and a half, inch and three quarters, and it's a bigger barrel. And that's, this is what I'm going to do the top of the hair with. So we'll start with this one. If you've watched my video on how to use a clipless curling iron, you're good to go. And if not, you will see that I double up on my gloves because I like to full on hold on to the curling iron because I think you get the best curls. And the, the way that you style your hair with the clipless curling iron use this, is um, you can leave the ends out, but for Raina's hairstyle it looks she looks a lot more polished so we're gonna leave the ends we're gonna do the ends as well so I'm gonna go ahead and separate my hair starting just at the bottom layer and then put the top in this because I don't think I have a clip okay you're gonna give a few spritz of your I do it one time throughout it all so you can remember, so you, well, for me, so I remember, and so it kind of like evenly can, can blend through. So all of Rain and James' curls are away from her face. I saw a tutorial that shared that she has some going the other way, but from what I've noticed, they're all going the same way. So you're going to go ahead and take it, wrap it around. The reason why I wear two gloves, as you can see, so <clears throat> I can actually touch the curly iron. Then you wait. Once you pull your curly iron out, you're going to have your little curl in your hand. Keep it in your hand a couple seconds. Let it, let the heat like soak it in right there. Does that make sense? And then let it out slowly and leave it alone. Don't touch it. Do it again. Okay, so I'm going to show you, I mean, you guys pretty much know, if you don't know, I'll link to my tutorial on how to use a clipless curling iron, but you're just going to do that and I'll show you, I'm going to come back to you once I've curled the bottom and I can show you how to do the top, because the top is the main section. So. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so like I said, I was gonna go ahead and do the bottom because I don't think you need to see me curl. Every single piece of my hair, you guys know how to use a clipless curling iron. If not, there's a tutorial for that um, that I did a little while ago. So now I have, ooh, burning my table. So now I have this um, inch and a half, uh, 
and two and three quarters barrel curling iron. I'm gonna take my hair out, not all of it, but out. What we're going to do, I already sprayed my heat protector on it, and I'm taking this whole big chunk because what she has <coughs> is actually smoother hair on top and then on this, and then it curls more towards the bottom. So we're going to take it and go underneath and wrap it around all the way, all the way, all the way to the end, and then you're going to kind of like move it because you're curling it, but you're, you're keeping that. Um, Part by your by your head up there, not as ringlet curl as the other one. And then once you hold it for a little bit, put it up there, drop it. I'm gonna keep this part in my hand for a second. I'm gonna leave it because this part will come out once we once I come it out of it. Okay, I'm gonna do something similar on this side, but it's a tad uneven, I have more hair, so. Because it's a tad more even, I think I need to split it up. I'm gonna take a bigger back section. Still a decent chunk back here. And I'm just gonna curl this one like normal. I'm gonna wrap it tight up here and then pull it down. Then hold that curl for a second. Now take this top part out. She always has a part that's like not right in the middle. It's always just like one little section off. So excuse me, I'm gonna... Kind of the same as the uh, one we did right below it. So wrap it tight for a second. Pull it out. Last section. This is her butt front bang section. So we're gonna pull it over here to the other side to give it more volume. Wrap it all the way around and then just kind of um, move it just like we did the other ones. Voila. Once you're done with the big curls, you can go ahead and run your hands through it and see if, um, once the curls are not hot anymore, that's the key. See if they need any touch-ups. See how it's smooth at the top and then it gets the curl at the bottom. That's the Raina J that we're going for. Okay, I think we got the curls that we wanted. Now to get the height that Raina has. I'm gonna go, let's see. So all you need then for this is a, if you wanna use some more dry shampoo if you didn't already, I already used it so I'm not gonna use it anymore. But um, we're just gonna get a little tease underneath so that we can add some height to our hair to create the volume that Raina has. And there we have it. You can tease it, <clears throat> and then once you're all teased, you've got some nice volume on top. But the volume is smooth out into the curls, all the way down into these Raina James curls. I hope you guys can see it because I know my hair is dark. I should have worn a different shirt, but um, they're really pretty. I'm happy with them. I'm happy the way it turned out. I'm happy with the top how it smooths into the curls. That's probably my favorite part about her hair. How she always like, well, she'll do this, and then it's like perfect into the curl. So, anyways, back to my obsession with Nashville. Um, I hope that you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel where I will have more videos, hair tutorials soon. I promise. And um, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you have a fabulous day.